Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and I set up Tim on the little base thing there. I said, what is its broadcast range set to? I'll just make you 50k. Well, yeah. I am worried about whether or not it's going to have enough power to keep supplying itself. You know what? Before I get too far, actually it shouldn't matter. Okay. Cause I'm, whoops. Pretty sure. Yeah, I turned its reactor off. Uh, it is slightly gaining power. It's hard to tell with the way it's doing things. You know what? Let's look at its solar panels. And that's not even with the sun directly overhead. I think it'll be fine. Uh, anyhow, I used the Tim script to pretty much empty all of the stuff out of the system. And I'm going to use that. You know, it said tiny station before. It says tiny unknown with this. I wonder why. Uh, but anyhow, I emptied this out so now it can actually fly. I should strip a vehicle, strip this thing down, and I want to make like a mobile base, sort of like a helicarrier. But I think I'm going to need a lot more materials before I do that. Okay, so what do we got here? Uh, that's strange. That's odd. It's got some reactors. I think you access denied me. Came okay, view is good and stuff. You know what? Fine. Did I turn off your eat uh, neutrals thing? There. Ah, I was gonna say, you gonna start eating it or what? So, that was slightly less interesting than I was expecting. I guess not all crashed things can be uh, giant loot pinatas. So one of the mods I have in adds in uh, these. Laser welders, laser grinder, laser drill. I wanted to avoid mining, but one of the big things I'm going to have to mine periodically is definitely going to be ice. Magnesium probably too. Just due to the nature of things. Everything else I should be able to get away with so long as I can find structures. Master, please. Right. It's not going to eat that because I grinded it. Oops. Okay. Looks like that's probably everything. Let's just head back then. Yeah, this thing definitely takes off super quick now. And if I start stripping out some other things and utilizing the uh, space over here, which I've already made some edits to in order to make it livable and useful and Oh god. Whoops. 
I made a terrible mistake. I don't want to talk about it. Apparently my dampeners were off because I was moving. See, I wish... I wonder. It's probably not going to do anything to set this. What about... What about that? It may just not be able to extract out of it at all. Hey, we're supposed to copy this. I guess the Tim system just can't access it. Kind of annoying. But what are you gonna do? Anyhow, now that I've sufficiently killed myself on my moving ship. I guess I'll sit back down on the radar thing. See, the one good thing about this is there's decent enough amounts of flat terrain around, which is a big deal because like on the side of mountains and stuff like that it's not going to spawn the uh, constructs. I was looking at the script and it does suit for actual suitable terrain. Trees excluded as far as I can tell. I feel like I need to set up some kind of some kind of a boarding ramp to get on this. Yeah, as you can see, I took the connector that was off the back and extended it out. That's how I connected this up. So I did it via the connector on the bottom there. And I set up some sensors. Not 100% sure whether they work or not yet, because um, they're not all set up, because I had slight difficulties. When you have your interface hidden, these don't show up. Also... I have no idea which one of these is on and which one of these is off. Stop it. I don't know which one of these is if the block has sensed something and if the block is not. Other way around. Okay. That was slightly terrifying. I, I have no idea. If I fly away, does it... I don't think I'm 25 meters away, but it's hard to tell. Oh god, dampeners, please. I don't know. Things are weird. This button's... I removed a number of the uh, air vents. Not all of them, but a number of them. Removed some of the interior turrets. I cut this out and got this car container in and got it set up for components. And I installed some ladders. That is a bright sun. And then the letters also go to these side rooms, which contain whatever they feel like. I do need to get some assembler set up, and I cut out the uh, thing that was here. You know, the thing. The stuff. Let's see. Do I have... Of course I don't. However... Yeah. So, I'm just going to. Let's see. Yeah. 
should be able to set that up and with auto rotate off it won't go anywhere. And this is pretty much my plan, I'm just going to set up a pile of them. Technically that should probably uh, make that sealed if I wanted it to be. Okay, is there anything else showing up It's detecting my tiny ship? Which I wish it wasn't. I don't think that's going to make a difference. I just... I don't think that's actually working. Yeah. I don't see anything else out there currently. Isn't that interesting? So yes, but ladders. Ladders are good. Really? You need to say ladder on the side? Really? But yeah, I cut out a lot of the airlock doors because I don't need them. And I do think... Yeah, I'm gonna do something silly. Which is going to be slightly difficult to do. Unless I position this on here. Because this has all the build and repair units, and that has all the components. Which is a slight problem. So hopefully it should start pulling from this to build those. Nice. And the way the Tim scripts are set up is whenever there's one in play, no other ones will run, so you never have to worry about connecting grids causing uh, overlaps. But uh, I'm curious about the laser drill. I don't really have a good way to... you know what? That's not going to work. That should work, I think. The idea is to basically just drive and scoop some ice. I do kind of want to try and make a small miner with them at some point, but... We'll see what happens. They built them? They're built. Okay. Okay, so they're not considered weapons and tools. Oh, that one's incomplete. And save. What? Okay, that's... That's not gonna work. <laughs> I do not have the power to run that. Not in the slightest. Yeah, these things are insanely expensive. I'll give it that. Why are you not being built? You're built. What? What are you producing and why? That was weird. I don't really understand why that was producing things. Very strange. And it's done. I want to see how these work. 
I think it'll be fun. Obviously not going to do it right next to me. See, this is another problem, though. This is one of the only downsides of this ice, is lights don't work on it. But it looks cool. Okay, let's try some silliness. Turn them off, turn them off! Okay. Let's just try one then. Doesn't have quite the range I was expecting. Huh. Weird. Well, isn't that a bit inconvenient? like I left myself any inventory connections down here. There's only that. This is a small problem. And I believe this is actually connected to the bottom of the bay. Yeah. You know what? Temporary replacement. I need to see this work. I need to. I demand it. This would work pretty well if you had it hanging off the back of like a wheeled vehicle or something. How much does it mind? I have an ore container on here somewhere. Now if I move forwards. It's not spectacularly fast. But at the same time, I think if I could get closer, it would work better. to stop like that. But at the same time, this vehicle's pretty much outlived its usefulness, and I need to start building a mobile airbase. So the question is, do I just paint the whole thing pink, eat it away with a build and repair system that I built on the base, and then basically just build a new ship. Sounds like an idea to me. Oh, my helmet's closed. That's fun. I can't see 
anything. Oh, I can see the uncompleted connector. Honestly, I probably have the components needed to complete it in my inventory. Yep. Everything has to just stay in here. this vehicle empty. Eh, I shouldn't need to turn off anything. So, do I mine for ice? Or just save that for later? Definitely want to go see if any new signals popped up. So now that I've done that, it's going to stop trying to tutorial me on the ladder. Very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. That's what I thought. That is the wrong one. I mean, technically turn them both off, because why not? We turn it back on, because I can... Yeah, it's most unfortunate. I might have to, like, increase the rate at which it attempts to spawn things or something, because it's just not spawning as much as I'd like it to. Conveniently, it has a configuration file where I can try these things. Oh. Well, that's fun. What am I doing? It's right here. Tim. Uranium. What do you think? 20? Ah, there we go. And then the uranium in the other ship should be evenly split between the two. Yeah, 582, 582, and 20 in there. And then, of course, this is ruined and filled with crap. There. Solved. There's a lot of plates in there. The problem is, if I start tearing it apart, well, short version is, I'll be at it for a little while. Especially before I get something capable of Yeah, I don't really have enough time to build practically an attack chopper. That's about the best way I can describe it. Oh, and this noise you hear, that's not my chair, that's my desk. And because I rest my arms on my desk, that happens a lot, unfortunately. Yeah, not very stable. But, it's better than the last desk I had. The main problem is that it's actually uh, messed up on one side so it can move. So whenever I apply pressure on the desk, it does that. And when I relieve pressure, it does it again. In case you were wondering. So, anyhow, uh, can't really start too much else the time remaining, so I'm going to call this good, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.